Kanban. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about Kanban, which is another agile software development methodology that is very important for ISTQB Agile Tester certification. So what is Kanban? So Kanban is a Japanese word which means visual signal and work is represented as a card on the Kanban board. So you, like you have a board. So nowadays you have a lot of softwares available wherein you can uh, you can design your Scrum and Kanban board. But uh, you can also have a physical wall wherein you have those um, sticky uh, notes. And these cards or the sticky cards represent an item or the work item on this Kanban board. Now members of the team can see the state of every piece of work on this particular board. So there are physical boards in each project, be it you know like a Scrum or Kanban, where the team uh, gets together for uh, daily stand-ups, and then uh, the members in that team can go to the Kanban board, which is a physical wall uh, with the board. I'll show you the board uh, in, in next slide how the board uh, visually looks like, and then members can see where each piece of work is on that particular Kanban board and as the work is visual on board so problems can be seen and addressed quickly so as uh, there is a visual board uh, for Kanban and even for Scrum so you can see where the problems are and can address those problems pretty quickly and address those uh, problems pretty quickly if there are any issues defects or anything uh, related to the work item in the Kanban. Now there are three instruments in Kanban. First one is Kanban board. Second one is work in progress limit. And third is the lead time. So these are the three key instruments in Kanban. Let's discuss uh, each of these one by one. So what is Kanban board? Kanban board, something it looks something like this um, in Jira. And you have uh, different columns wherein these are the phys these are the cards that uh, the work item card so you have green um, blue so these are the work items and then you have these columns so requested in progress and done this is the simple uh, flow of the Kanban board and that's how the board will look like in the soft in any of the um, application which supports Kanban board like Jira or uh, you can set up this physical board on the wall as well wherein you have three columns uh, or four columns depending on how you want to set up your Kanban board and then you can have different cards, physical cards uh, and handwritten cards uh, or printed cards with the work uh, items uh, and assignee as well and then they these items move in the board from one column to other depending on where these particular work items are so if they are uh, still sitting in the requested no one has picked them uh, they are not in progress then they'll sit in the requested column as soon as someone in the team picks the item to work on it will get moved to the in progress and once the item is um, you know like finished development uh, you see the sub um, column here uh, then it can move to testing and then finally once the testing is done it can move to done column as well right so that that is how the Kanban board will look like um, on your actual um, wall or in the in the application like Jira so next thing in Kanban approach is work in progress limit so Kanban restricts the amount of parallel active tasks so there'll be only a set of defined parallel executive tasks that can be there in one particular status so for example uh, in progress there you, as a project you can define that there could couldn't be more than 10 parallel tasks at a time in progress uh, status so Kanban restricts the amount of parallel active tasks um, there can be only allowed maximum number of tickets at one station so for example uh, start is your one station in progress uh, which could have a development and testing these are the other stations or other columns in the board as we have seen in the previous slide so there will be only a set uh, only allowed number of tickets at one particular status or station once the station is free the developer pulls the task from predecessor 
station. So once, uh, say for example, you have defined uh, that in development there could be only 10 tasks at a time. So as soon as the tasks reduce from 10 to 9, the developer pulls another um, task from the previous station in the development station or development um, column. Now the third important thing uh, in Kanban is the lead time. So lead time is measured as soon as the work item is created. So in Kanban as soon as the item is created um, the lead time starts and Kanban uses, uh, is used to optimize the continuous flow of tasks which minimizes the lead time. So uh, as soon as uh, an item will be created uh, the lead time starts from there and with the Kanban approach the key thing is to reduce or minimize the lead time so that once the item is uh, available or uh, available in the development cycle then it doesn't take much to deliver that particular item. Now uh, we'll, we'll understand some of the key similarities and differences in Scrum and Kanban as well. So uh, Scrum, uh, in, for, for example, the release methodology of Scrum is uh, at the end of each sprint or iteration. But in Kanban, it's a continuous delivery of work or continuous delivery um, of the item or at the team's discretion. So uh, team decides when they are going to deliver in Kanban or it could be continuous delivery as well. Then um, in the in terms of a task board or uh, visualization of the task you have uh, uh, in Scrum you have Scrum board and in Kanban you have Kanban board. So Kanban board is known as Kanban board Scrum board is um, Scrum in Scrum you have Scrum board. Then in Scrum you have uh, defined roles like product owner, Scrum master and development team members However, in Kanban, there are no defined, no uh, defined roles or no existing roles. Uh, the time boxing or iterations in Scrum is a sprint. So, uh, in Scrum, you have sprints, which is two to four weeks cycle, which is mandatory. And at the end of every sprint, you have to have a shippable product, and that's the principle of the Scrum development methodology. However, in Kanban, um, time boxing is optional. Uh, because it's a continuous delivery of work, so releasing deliverables uh, item by item. Uh, the key metrics of Scrum is velocity and the key metric of Kanban is the lead time. So uh, velocity is the key metric in Scrum uh, to measure uh, the progress or um, progress of the uh, items or the, the delivery of the item in the sprint. And in Kanban, lead time is taken as the metric for um, the team or uh, for the work progress. So these are some of the similarities and differences uh, between Scrum and Kanban. So uh, in order to have, uh, in order to appear for ISTQB found uh, ISTQB Agile Tester Certification Exam, uh, make sure you go through Kanban and Scrum uh, development approaches thoroughly and understand what are the key similarities and differences between Scrum and Kanban. Thank you.